what is pattern recognition it is a very important concept because this is the base everything around in this digital world is the pattern so nowadays we are surrounded by digital gadgets so basically whenever we are talking about digital world everything around this digital world is considered as pattern means a pattern can either be seen physically or it can be observed mathematically by applying some algorithm see the colors of the clothes it is a pattern speech pattern or in computer science a pattern is represented using say vector feature values whenever you are dealing with some row and column wise pixel values so all those pixels can be considered as pattern or in real world whenever we are dealing with some clothes we are identifying some kinds of clothes by visualizing their colors so colors of the clothes can be considered as pattern also sometimes we will identify something by its speech means whenever we are listening to someone in what manner that person is representing itself the type of speech can be considered as pattern so everything that we are using day by day will have some unique pattern so if the question is asked to you what is a pattern so you can say that as a computer science we can represent vector feature values as pattern now you can ask me this question that what is vector feature value what is scalar feature value so in a simple word i can tell you one concept that is whenever a particular photograph is given to you and whenever you are visualizing that digital photograph and you know that that photograph is a collection of row and column wise arranged pixels so that's why it is also known as rasters so whenever we are dealing with some photos which are captured digitally and whenever we are visualizing this photo on screen it is a 2d thing so each and every pixels will contribute to make this picture or raster so here each and every pixel value can be considered as features right so this is the concept of vector features so any point any polygon that you are marking on a particular image so whenever you are visualizing google maps and you want to fit some of the region for your use say you are cutting that region in terms of polygon and you are extracting it from that image it is a vector image right whenever you are marking your house on google map right so this kind of rectangular marking can also be considered as vector feature so this all are considered as pattern right so this is a concept of pattern see whenever we are identify some vegetables also by visualizing its shape its color right so shape and color of some vegetable can also be considered as pattern so this is the concept of pattern but what is our subject our subject that we are going to learn is known as pattern recognition right so what is this pattern recognition is all about so pattern recognition is a process of recognizing the pattern by using machine learning algorithms so what is our actual goal we have to recognize the patterns but not by perceiving it with our eyes we have to recognize the patterns with some specific algorithms which are known as machine learning algorithms so that's why whenever we are using machine learning algorithm for identifying the patterns this entire concept is known as pattern recognition and pattern recognition can be defined as classification of data which is based on knowledge which has already gained on some statistical information so this thing is a little bit tricky thing now according to this discussion what i am telling that 
pattern recognition can also be considered as classification. Now, what do you mean by classification? See, whenever some objects are provided to us, say we have this kinds of object. So, how we can classify them? Classification means we are creating some groups of the object. So, this is one class and this is another class. Right. So, pattern recognition comes under the concept of classification. But the question is how this kind of classification we can perform because whatever picture I am showing over here, it is very easy to classify. But sometimes we have very difficult classification like this. So, how could you classify this thing? Like this. So, they cannot be separated by a straight line. So, we have some kind of difficult classifications too. So, here you have to make one point. Okay, pattern recognition is also known as classification. But how this classification is made? The entire classification is made on the knowledge base. We have already discussed about knowledge base in AI. So, whatever knowledge we have gained previously using that knowledge, we can perform this kind of classification. And this is one of the most important aspect of pattern recognition. So, try to understand what we have discussed so far. So, we have some patterns in the real digital world, right? Pattern can be a color of a vegetable, color of clothes. Pattern can be a pixel inside a digital picture, anything. Actually, all those patterns will be kept in a knowledge base so that these patterns can further contribute in performing classification like this. And for performing classification, we have to use some machine learning algorithms. So, in nutshell, whenever we are using some machine learning algorithms for the purpose of classification, what input we will need? We basically need some prior or some previously acquired knowledge patterns. All those knowledge about the patterns will help the machine learning algorithm to work properly and as an output we will get the classified object right so this is the main working functionality of the pattern recognition process